Austin and myself, we, uh, we decided that we were going to take a break from working with other artists and then start our own thing and do our own thing and to see how that goes. And uh, we work with Amber, um, you know, and we try to, uh, you know, get with her, but we were able to do a, a, this project, you know, virtually. It was like one of the first projects that we did virtually where we sent her the, the material and then she ended up um, you know, recording it and then sending it back to us, mixing it and then putting it out as a single. Then we all went together as a stu as a group to the studio and we did our first record, which was Welcome to Copatechnic. The previous EPs were, were great and uh, we were able to draw a lot of inspiration from just, you know, projects that we've done in the past or um, people that influenced us, themes that influenced us, uh, uh, you know, sounds that influences the disco sound, house sound, R&B. We kind of incorporated all of that into our sound. We always it was uh, it was kind of an epiphany moment. We were working on new songs, and then I happened to be writing them out on a board, and uh, I was talking to Jimmy and Amber, and I realized that these songs tell a story. These songs, you know, create a vibe. And that was the basis of uh, writing the script for it uh, with Christopher uh, Blair Harmon. First of all, to have been so blessed to have the opportunity to sing on the soundtrack always, it made me feel as if I was in a time machine and actually went right back into that disco era where it was very soulful, sexy, sultry, just, everything. Being able to sing in the style of that time to me was just euphoric. It was beautiful. It was surreal. It was everything. And I'm going to tell you, always is everything. It was something different and uh, we all collaborated together. And I think Amber, she emphasized and had a lot of input on always. She kind of, she kind of uh, did a lot of. I, I actually, she came with a lot of good freestyles in all ways. They came real good. She did her thing on that. Every album we did, is, you know, was a little different. We're gonna do an album like this. It, it, it was always a reason for every album we did. Just like this, this always it was a reason for that album. He already had in his head um, uh, some ideas about what he wanted to do, and we followed and we believed in what he's what he's doing. Uh, one of the uh, interesting things about uh, the project is how dance music was once uh, tried to be censored, uh, especially with the uh, disco. And through house music, it's uh, not only come back, but it's flourished internationally. Desiree, it's a classic story of rights to riches, um, but uh, the, the, the rights part is pretty uh, Bad. Uh, she had to go through a lot of things growing up that uh, a young woman shouldn't have to. But eventually she found her voice, found her strength, and, and rose above it. Uh, she became uh, not only famous, but an inspiration to uh, many people. The big argument tends to be expression versus anatomy. And my thing has been we share, as comic book artists, we share a burden that animation has, which is expression. We have to communicate those feelings across because if someone as stiff as a board might look really cool, but you're not feeling it, that's that's a problem. So uh, to make something flat uh, have, have life to it is very important. So I'm glad that comes across and I'm glad that I've, I've, I've achieved that goal. I want to make you feel what those characters are feeling. You know, so that's that's been a, a, a goal.